One of those races that was impacted by redistricting is the race for New York House District 17. Republican Mike Lawler is running against the chair of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, Sean Patrick Maloney. That is the Democrat in charge of getting other Democrats elected to the House. Mike Lawler joins us now. Hi there. Good to see you. Thanks for being here on election night. So can you explain the significance of such a tight race with the person who is essentially tasked with getting more elected Democrats to the House? Well, yeah, look, Sean Patrick Maloney has nobody to blame but himself. Uh, earlier this year, he sent a memo to state Democrats demanding that they gerrymander New York's congressional map. Uh, they did, but ultimately a Democrat appointed court of appeals throughout the map, appointed a special master who drew a fair map. And that's why tonight, uh, New York Republicans have the opportunity to pick up a, a total of 12 to 13 seats coming out of New York and single-handedly ending the Democratic majority and ending Nancy Pelosi's reign as speaker. Uh, you know, Sean Patrick Maloney uh, is the same guy who decided to run in the newly drawn 17th instead of the 18th, pushing the first openly gay black man out of Congress, Mondaire Jones. Uh, and unfortunately for Sean, uh, in doing so, he put himself in a really bad position because 75% of this district is new uh, to him. He only represents a quarter of the district. I represent 20% of the district in the state assembly. So he doesn't have that built-in advantage of incumbency. And about 50% of households in this district have a cop, a firefighter, a veteran, or a first responder living in it. So this district has, uh, uh, it's very unique. It is pure suburbia. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel very good about where we are with just a few hours to go. I mean, one of the biggest issues that we've seen in this election across the country, but particularly in New York, is the issue of crime. But, you know, Republicans have been running lots of ads on it. They've been talking about it a lot. But what is actually your plan to combat it? Well, first of all, you know, since cashless bail took effect in New York State on January 1st, 2020, uh, index crimes are up 36% in New York City, and 40% of those released on non-monetary bail for felony offenses have been rearrested. Sean Maloney called this his top priority, and that's why he's losing in the polls, because voters across New York State understand that this policy was one of the stupidest pieces of legislation ever enacted. The bottom so line is cashless bail, cashless bail needs to be repealed. Judges need discretion. New York State is the only state that does not have a dangerousness standard. Uh, it needs to enact one. Beyond that, uh, we have to support law enforcement. We have to give them the tools that they need to do their job. You have to reinstate the anti-crime unit in New York City, whose primary responsibility is getting illegal guns off the street. You have to enforce petty crimes and quality of life crimes. Uh, there is a comprehensive approach that worked from 1993 uh, all the way to 2019 until Democrats it, it took control of the state legislature and upended 20 plus years of gains on public safety. We need to go back to what we were doing and get crime under control. All right. A House race to watch. Certainly tonight. Mike Lawler, thank you so much. Thank you.